Welcome to this extra special food review with extra me, John. Special. And Drake. And Sarah. All three siblings together here. No other siblings, though. That's it. No, mm -hmm. there wouldn't be enough room in the car. No, we need like a 15 passenger van. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, today we're going to be doing a versus video, and this is going to be the first time I've done one where I don't know which is which. So it's going to be kind of blindfolded video. First of all, let's tell you where we got stuff from and what it is. All right. Drake. Um, so in Chicago, one of the biggest foods is Italian beef sandwiches. Mm, they're delicious. Um, the classic Italian beef, no cheese, just beef dunked with the bread, and then we got some peppers on the side. Uh, I got some sweet, and I think you got the hot. Yep. Um, of course, the go-to favorite usually is Portillo's. So um, Portillo's. And then we also got from Buona Beef. Buona Beef. And then the nameless bag is Al's Beef. Yes, Al's Beef. Um, Al's so, Beef is supposed to be where the Chicago Italian Beef started. Supposedly. So what my lovely fiance did was bag them up into bags one, two, and three. We don't know which bag pertains to which place. Mm. Exactly. Eliminate bias. Yeah. People have strong bias. They right. do, yeah. Um, and then she's texted me what each sandwich is. I haven't looked at my phone yet. And at the end of the review, we'll make up our mind what's best and then find out what anyway, each let's sandwich is. go ahead and start is. with number one. Again, no. we don't know what it is. We don't know what this sandwich is. All right. Sandwich one. That I don't know. I don't know. I drip some oily bits on All the right. leg. Here we go. This is what this one looks like, by the way. I'll give you a close-up. I also didn't, I mean, I'm going to say this, I was not super impressed with mine. What I did like was the beef juice. You could tell the bread was salty, and it added a lot of flavor because of the dunk. Mm. The beef itself was kind of bland on that sandwich. Yeah, I felt yeah. like mine didn't have the, the juice on it. It was dry, and it was bland. I wasn't as yeah. big of a fan. Like, they might have dunked the bread, but didn't dunk the meat. Yeah. 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 Number um, one. Um... Number one was good. It was good, but, but I don't think it's going to be the winner. No, I don't think so either. Mm -hmm. Onward to number, number two. two. Dose. Oh, yeah. Definitely Tons more flavor. Tons more flavor in this. A lot more flavor. Mmm. I'm going to give you a close up of what this one looks like, guys. Maybe this one was Juice. slightly more dunk, but definitely, oh, I love the flavor of this beef. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Number two That's is fantastic. Mm. Mm-mm. This Since reminds me of home. This reminds me of growing up. I've had some beef that fell out on the side, so I'll eat it by itself. Mm. Yeah, that beef is flavored really, really well. Right. A good amount of pepper. Probably some other stuff that I can't think of right now, but like this beef would be good on its own, not dipped. It would exactly. just be delicious. Of course, the soft bread, nice and salty. That was an excellent sandwich. Yep, totally agree. I could already say number one got beat out. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. As a flavor alone, that thing had a really good amount of flavor. I maybe would have liked a little bit more juice on it but it had a really good amount of flavor. Number three. Here's a cross section of this one. Well, I would That's say fair. it's it's better than one, but it's hard to compare with two. Two was really good. And I, I'm a with Drake. I don't know if the sweet bread was as good like with it. Because I feel like if I'm going to eat Italian beef, I want a real savory sort of flavor. Yeah. As opposed to the sweet. So I'm going to agree that number two was my favorite. 
Um, but I'm going to switch up my order of one and three. I mm. think three was actually the weakest of the sandwich sandwiches. Um, one was really good. The bread and the dunk was really good, but the beef itself was kind of bland. Number two had everything going for it. Absolutely everything. So, um, I'm going to repeat what Drake said. Two was the best one. Definitely like the most flavor, savory, spicy. The It was juicy all through the meat and the bread. Number one, I'm going to say, was my second favorite just because I do not like number three. I don't <laughs> like the sweet. It doesn't taste like an Italian beef to me. It's it's sweet, and I don't like it. Okay. All Are right. you guys ready for the great reveal? Well, you're going to give your... I know. What is it? Like, you're just going to skip me over? <laughs> I thought you won first. Oh, I kind of did, and then I really All stopped. Right. Official review. All right. So I'm going to be different than my brother's which, I mean, is usual. But I agree with them that number two is the best. No doubt about it. Number two had the most flavor. It was tastiest. I would eat another one in a second. Oh, yeah. It reminded me of Italian beef that I would eat growing up. Um, but I actually think number one was the weakest. Um, number three is okay, and I'm not as crazy about the sweet bread. But number one had no flavor at all. It got it with some flavor in it. I just felt like it was bland. It had nothing to it. Okay. It was boring. Just so you and know, I don't like boring. I'm going to say number three was Al's beef. Really? Yes, number three was Al's beef. Okay. I I know what it tastes like, and I don't like Al's beef. Okay, okay, that's fair. <laughs> I'm, okay. Not sure. I'm not sure. I want to say number two is Portillo's. Okay. And number one is Bologna. We're going to find out. I just want to go out and say <laughs> number two, to me, was a perfect 10 out of 10 sandwich. Yeah, yeah. great. Like, you cannot get better than that. Mm -hmm. That yeah. was perfect. It's like what you want out of an Italian beef. Yeah. If it's Portillo's, um, then I'm going to be actually like really pleasantly surprised because that's like right. a big chain. All right. So let's uh, let's look at the great reveal here. Number one, Portillo's. Oh. oh. Number three, you were right, Al's beef. Yeah. Huh? Meaning number two, the best sandwich was from Blona Beef. Blona Beef. Blona Beef what? had the best sandwich. Congratulations. Wow. What a beef. beef. When you're in Chicago, or if you have one in your area, go to Buona. They have the best beef. That's true. 